All right, Aries, thank you for being here on Tease Tarot. Thanks so much. Welcome to Tease Tarot. This is your reading, Aries, your general love reading for the month of April. Uh, we will be looking at um, your overall energy, your hopes and fears, um, as well as um, any challenges or roadblocks in the way, how to overcome those. Okay, so Tease Tarot, again, thanks for being here. Please hit the like button. I truly appreciate it if you could. Um, also, um, if you could share, like, subscribe. When you subscribe, you are entered into the uh, monthly draw for a free reading from me, half an hour. Um, I will get in touch with the winners tomorrow. So you still have time to enter by subscribing to the show. Likes really, really help the channel grow. Um, if you do like the show, if it resonates, um, just let you know it was formerly Tammy's Tarot. Now it's T's Tarot. I'm over here now. And this space is also your space. I moved, um, had a few, um, you know, life things going on. So uh, this is your general love reading. Switch roles as you see fit. If this does not resonate with you, um, don't make the story fit. Come back next week. Um, watch your reading. Or there's a really great readers on YouTube. You can check them out. Check me out. And this is for entertainment purposes only. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome here. Okay. And um, what else can I tell you? Oh, yeah. Everything's in the description box below. I'm available for private readings. Okay. And um, yeah. So, and there's no gender in tarot. So male, female uh, is just masculine, feminine, feminine energy. Okay. So we will get started with your reading. This is an overview of your love energy for April. So we'll see if someone's coming in. This is for people that are single, people that may have a new love interest, a new partner, someone that may have um, been admiring you. Okay, we will tap into all of that. We will be clarifying the cards and we're getting started with your reading. Now, everything's in the description box below and we'll get started. Overall energy for Aries, please. Angels, guides, ancestors. So I meditated on your cards, cleared the cards. Um, you know, I do a bunch of prayers. Okay. For Aries. Aries. This is your birthday month. So happy birthday, Aries. Um, and we had a full moon yesterday. If you saw it, it was magnificent. Uh, we have a solar eclipse on the 20th. Um, you can look up to see what the um, moon will mean for your sign and how it will affect you. Um, the general meaning of the solar eclipse is that there's breakthroughs possible announcements, um, new beginnings with friendships, uh, networking. Um, also, um, if you work independently, you may find that you will be working with partners, um, joining groups, things like that. Okay, socializing. All right, so for Aries, general love reading for the whole month of April. So lots of time. Oh, and if you celebrate Easter, I will tell I will um Happy Easter to those who celebrate Easter. It's this weekend. Okay, we have the hanged one is your overall energy for the month of April. Okay, so you are taking a pause in action. You're readdressing situations. You're rediscovering things um, or discovering new things. You're looking at things that you possibly overlooked in the past. And you're looking at it from a different angle, okay? And you are protected in this. You see that there's a halo around the hanged one. So this is suspended motion. You're taking a pause. Maybe you're relaxing. Maybe, you know, you're just chilling at home. And that's what you want to do. And you don't really want to be bothered. Um, but it's an introspective look um, at looking at something from a different point of view. Um, a different way of um, maneuvering. How are you going to take action in the future? You're thinking, you're mulling things over, 
and you're discovering new insights, okay? This is an intuitive card. It's a healing card as well. It's okay to take a pause every once in a while. Okay, and what is in Aries surrounding? Hmm. Aries for Aries. Thank you, angels, guides, and ancestors. For Aries, general love reading for April. Playing. All right. For Aries. Yeah, strong energy, possibly. What is in Aries surroundings for April? Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so an, an offer um, divinely given. Um, it could have to do with, um, you know, a new a uh, partnership, a new career, um, you know, a proposal of some kind, something to do with success, money, wealth. Um, this is, you know, something tangible, something we can hold. This um, is often, you know, victory and success. So this offer that comes in is usually to do with wealth, money, pentacles. Um, it's a strong offer, okay, divinely given. In terms of career, money, finances, job, um, you may be given a promotion. Okay, so something like that um, will be coming to you for uh, in April. Okay, so that's in your environment. So maybe you work from home. Maybe you decide to work from home. And that's a good, um, you know, clarifying factor for you that, yes, um, working at home will um be good for you. Okay. So an offer of some kind, something tangible, something to do with money. Okay. Who is the person most on your mind is the queen of wands. Okay. She's a very loving, caring, very affectionate queen. She knows how to follow her dreams. So she's very action oriented. Um, she follows her desires, very passionate. Okay. So um, this person surrounding you, um, it could be, um, you know, this offer to do with, even though this is a love reading, uh, it could have to do with this offer. So it could be a queen of wands offering you something, um, something that you desire, something that you've desired for a long time and you go after it vigorously, uh, a lot of energy, a lot of passion. Okay. And who's coming towards you? is um, the nine of swords okay who or what is coming towards you so a lot of sleepless nights worry um indecision this is contemplating this is you know not being able to decide this is anxiety could um, be depression so there could be someone in your surroundings that has um is going through something that they're not wanting to confront or when they are confronting it, they're feeling a huge sense of anxiety and sleepless nights, worry. And so that could also uh, be you feeling that about this decision possibly that you have to make with the Ace of Pentacles or the Queen of Wands energy. Should I, you know, you go directly, yes, 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 I want this, but then maybe you take a step back and think, oh, with the hanged man, um, you know, contemplating that energy. So you really, really want something and the forces within you are conflicted, um, whether you should take this opportunity. Okay, so that is who or what is coming towards you. So there could be someone in your surroundings as well who's feeling anxious, someone possibly you care about in love. Okay, and what are Aries' hopes and fears? and fears for April, love energy for April. So I feel like possibly if you have a son or a daughter, 
I feel sun for some reason. Um, but if you have a child or a teenager, possibly they're feeling anxious and worried and you're worried about that. So, and so the nine of swords I feel is maybe a child, um, that is in your surroundings that lives in your home. It could be, um, someone that is, you know, that you care about. Hopes and fears. Okay. Um, your hopes and fears are to remain in a happy home. Um, you know, celebrating your home, creating your home. Um, this is also the marriage card. Okay. So your hopes and fears are to maintain the, um, stability of your home, the structure of your home. Possibly that is what you're worried about. Maybe finances for you at this moment are getting in the way of, um, you know, obstacles in the way. Maybe this pentacle, um, you're worried that it's not going to be able to sustain your home, your environment at home. And that is your hopes and fears. So your hope is that you're wanting to sustain a healthy home with partnerships, um, you know, your family, um, something I feel that is in the way of that is, um, at this point is financial, um, setbacks possibly. Okay. And how do you feel about your person most on your mind? How does Aries feel about their person? They're a new love interest. A partnership. How do they feel about their partner most on their mind for the month of April? Oh. Holding on too tightly. Okay, so really, really feeling a sense of lack. This is what is um, keeping you up at night. Um, you feel that there's not enough to go around. Um, you know, you could be um, hanging on too tightly to your coins, um, a sense of lack mentality, okay? Um, feeling that there's not enough, okay? That is a mentality. That's a feeling, a thought. Doesn't mean that it's true. It could be that you're saving now um, or you're needing to save, but you're holding on to your pentacles quite tightly, and that could be what you're worried about. Not sure about this... Um, new opportunity with the ace of pentacles and your home is in your hopes and fears so it could signify that you're wanting to make some changes so that you don't feel a sense of lack and that's what you're up at night thinking about how does aries person feel towards them if you like the channel if you like my content here on t's tarot Please hit that like button. I truly appreciate it. So how are Aries person feeling towards them? How do Aries person feel towards them? A lot of love, um, a lot of memories together, possibly a lot of memories in this home. Maybe you're having to sell your home um, for some reason. Um, that could be what the Ace of Pentacles is. It could signify a move, even though you're suspended right now. But the person that's surrounding you really, really does love you, cares about you. Um, possibly you've known each other since childhood or for a very long time. A lot of happy memories. That's how they are feeling towards you. There's like a childlike um person either coming into your life that's significant or who you've known for a very long time and they really really have great memories with you they feel um like a child around you um happiness joy okay what actions will aries person take in the month of april what actions will they take We're asking a lot of questions for the month of April for love. It seems like that your pentacles, your coin, your wealth is um, getting in the way of your enjoyment, your um, possible romantic 
connection. Okay, the actions you will take is Eight of Cups. So moving on to something new. This is feeling a sense of loss. Um, this is escapism. Um, redirecting your route, okay? This does not mean that it's like it breaking up with someone. It could just mean, like I said, that you're having to, to decide if you're moving. Um, now the character in the Eight of uh, Cups is leaving cups behind. Um, he doesn't want to leave. He feels that it's just necessary to leave. So possibly you could be leaving with your partner, your family, um, or on your own to find something better that's suited for you, okay? Could be your family leaving, or you could be leaving to find a new partner um, on a search um, for someone new, okay? Your hopes and fears are your home life, okay? But it could denote that that is what your late at, up late at night thinking about and possibly it could mean um moving towards a job a new a, a new um purpose in life okay and that is the actions that you will take or your partner or the person on your mind okay what are the obstacles or challenges in the way for Aries, what obstacles or challenges are in the way for Aries in April with this situation? Obstacles are in the way. The sun, okay. The obstacles in the way is that you're not feeling total contentment, contentment, joy. You're not feeling um, happy. Um, you possibly at the beginning of April, reason why you're in this position is that you're trying to decipher whether you want to leave or stay. So your obstacle in the way is to find sunshine um, where you um go to okay so you're off setting your course um escapism this is leaving it um in the middle of the night um this could be a secret okay um of you and your partner and you are searching for joy sunshine um happiness this is the happiness card the happiest card in the deck so that is what you want um i feel like you are feeling um a bit well possibly more than a bit unfulfilled. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of communication between you and your person um, about this. It seems like you are both on opposite sides of the fence. They really care for you. Um, and you're feeling a sense of loss. So there does seem to be a breakup or leaving parting ways. You're up at night worried about it. You're taking action towards the sun very vigorously and very passionately with the queen of wands. Okay, and the um, actions Okay, that they will take. What actions will they take? That could be you or them leaving. Okay. But they do feel very fondly towards you. They care about you a lot. Um, the actions that they will take in the month of April for Aries. For Aries. Okay, so they're feeling also that they're feeling a heavy burden. Um, and they're struggling. There's too much that they're feeling a sense of heaviness, overburden, overworked, um, not able to carry, again, possibly the home um, as well. Okay, so maybe there is financial difficulty, financial lacks. Okay, um, so they're feeling the heavy burden 
possibly knowing that you are wanting to leave or that you are leaving or when you do leave, they feel very, very heavy, heavy, very burdened. And I feel like the Nine of Swords is your partner. And like I said, it could be also um, a child as well. And we did get the Six of Cups underneath that. So that um, points to children as well. Okay, advice from Spirit. I feel like you've been with this person for a long time. It's been a heavy burden. Um, something's not working in the relationship, the partnership, whatever it is. It's just not working. You have a new offer, Ace of Pentacles. You think about it heavily. Um, you know that that's something you want to pursue in terms of um, wealth, money. Okay. Advice from Spirit for Aries. I will clarify the cards. Advice from Spirit, King of Cups. So you are moving to a more loving place, a place that um, you can be creative, imaginative. You can feel your emotions. Um, possibly you've been constricted of feeling of your emotions. Um, so when you do reach your destination, as you move on with the eight of cups, you actually become the king of cups. So that's full of love energy. That's imagination, creativity. Um, your cup is full. You're rather, um, confident, um, at this time towards the end of April. Okay. And how... Does Aries overcome any obstacles for wanting to feel the sunshine, for wanting to leave, or feeling a sense of loss? How do they overcome any obstacles? For Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Um, this is uh, self-protection. Um, you have learned to protect yourself. You've learned to protect your heart. Um, you've learned to protect your pentacles, your wealth, your status. Um, and you're going to protect the sunshine. When you feel the warmth of the sunshine, the joy, you're going to protect your emotions. The King of Cups is right before that. Um, this is uh, wand energy. So that's Leo, Sagittarius, mm -hmm. Aries. Um we also have Leo again, Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Cancer. Again, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. So the final outcome is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so knowing that Whatever you were feeling, any pain, heartache, um, whatever you were facing within the home, um, it's over and you move towards your direction and you're protected, you guard yourself, you've learned how to guard yourself. Um, it takes strong will to fight off all these wands, you know, and it takes a lot of learning, a lot of experience to learn how to guard your energy, your, your emotions your creativity, um, what it is you want to pursue, things like that. So the pain is over, the Ten of Swords. Um, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. So someone speaking their truth, you're speaking your truth, you're um, acting um, in your truth, you're being true to yourself, and you're going to be very victorious, okay? Okay, so this is... Um, Mm -hmm. I feel like once you have the 10 of swords, the pain's over. You can't feel any more pain than that. And so you, you do reach your final destination and the pain is over. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to clarify the cards though, and it may change up the story a little bit. Take what resonates, leave the rest. The hanged one. Why, why do we have the hanged one here? 
for Aries. New beginning. Okay, this is um, a passionate new beginning. Drive, success. Uh, very, very eager. This is creativity. This is, um, you know, following your dreams. This is the hand of God. It's destiny, divinely given. A new beginning. So you are contemplating a new beginning, something that you're passionate about or someone that you're passionate about. Although I do not see, except for the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands, I don't see a lot of um, new romantic partnerships. Okay. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Swords. So that's rest, renewal, um, you know, sort of a reactivation of your spirit. You take a step back. This is like the Ace of Pentacles is your new beginning. And it is a heavy decision, as we see here with the Nine of Swords. So again, um, you're taking a step back. Possibly you weren't expecting to leave the situation, your home, um, and you have to take a step back to reflect. So you're doing a lot of introspection, reflecting, like I said, and you're trying to come up with solutions and it's weighing heavy on you. Now, again, the swords are not touching um, the little lamb. Um, but to say that there's a lot of um, relaxation, renewal, you know, ready when you're on your journey, you need to get ready for that. Okay. It could be um, somewhat hard. Okay. Difficult. You know, it is always when we're moving on to something new. So you're resting, you're renewing your energy and your spirit. You're asking yourself questions and you're coming up with your truth, okay? Knight of, nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Four. Aries. Why is the nine of swords here for Aries? Strength. Okay. You're drawing, like I just said, with the four of swords, you're drawing in your strength. Um, you're drawing up your courage. There's something that you're battling. Um, you haven't really spoken too much about it to anyone. Um, I feel like you're holding on to these feelings um, that you feel and you're not sharing them. Um, anyway, when you're up at night, you're drawing strength to move forward, courage, um, and you're, you're coming up with a solution that, that while you're resting, you're becoming stronger, um, to move forward. And the, um, four of wands, this is the happy marriage card or celebrations. This is in your hopes and fears. Okay. So you're fearing having to leave the home. And again, double confirmation, you are protected at this time. Okay. So you are drawing strength and you know, you're protected. It's time to move on. You're making a very heavy, heavy decision, a head over heart decision. Um, for whatever reason you're having to leave, but again, you are protected. Your decision is protected by the angels. You will be protected on your journey. Okay, and that's in your hopes and fears. Um, possibly you don't feel a sense of protection where you are. And you're having to set those healthy boundaries once again. Okay, four of pentacles. How you're feeling about your person. Or Aries, thank you. Angels, guides, ancestors. Okay, so there's um, there's a lot of conflict, seven of swords. So this is could be your person feeling, um, you know, being feeling rather stingy, possibly not very giving um, somehow. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. They're not very giving towards you. 
Um, they have a lot of love for you, a lot of nostalgia, a lot, but somehow there's a feeling of lack within the relationship and a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, arguments, you know, spiteful words, hurtful, hurtful words, a lot of pain. Seven of war, uh, swords leads to the ten of swords. This will be over at some point. Okay. So there's a lot of um, arguments conflict, drama. Why the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here for how Aries person feels about them? Why the Six of Cups? Sometimes when we leave a situation, um, that's when we start thinking about all the memories we share together, the happy times. Um, we tend to glaze over the hardships, the, the conflict. Um, it's hard to say goodbye. Okay, so why the Six of Cups? But you will find sunshine. And you are protected. And you have new beginnings in April. Six of Cups for Aries. Why, why is the Six of Cups here? Thank you, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Why the Six of Cups? For Aries. Leo is also very significant. Okay, so Six of Wands. Okay, um, Six of Wands is victory and success. So they, your person still wants to have victory. They don't want to let you go. Um, Six of Wands is challenges that we overcome, um, you know, things that we succeed at, public recognition, applause. So they're feeling that your bond, your partnership could still be very victorious and they still care about you a lot. So I feel that they are having a hard time letting go. Um, that is how they feel towards you. Okay. That you and them are going to be victorious. Or it is a person in your life who is very much, you know, high vis, um, you know, receiving awards, high accolades, high applause. So possibly, um, you know, you have a person of that high vis status in your life that you are leaving. Okay. Or your person feels towards you that there's still, you know, happy times that you can have, happy memories that you have shared together. They still want to fulfill their, um, you know, um, love for you and show you love. And they feel that you can be victorious with them. Okay, Eight of Cups, Four Aries, the actions you will take. Four Aries, Ace of Swords. Okay, so again, that's three aces. Um, you're going in the right direction. Um, you're speaking your truth. This is truth. This is, um, you know, you're on the road to find your fulfillment. Um, you're going to be very successful, okay, when you do um, make your way. Okay, so this could be something um, you're very wise. You've thought about things. You've drawn up wisdom, courage, and you are going on a new journey that is more speaking your inner truth. Okay, something that is designed for you. Okay, why is the sun in a challenge position? Again, four of pentacles, not enough. You're not feeling the love. You're not feeling the bounty. You're not feeling a happy home. Um, you're feeling stuck, energy, lack. Something is um, making you feel a sense of lack. Um, okay, why the Ten of Wands for Aries person? We got um, Three of Swords. We got Knight of Pentacles and Mother of Swords. I'm going to put those back. Why the Ten of Wands, the Heavy Burden? Okay, 
So the two of swords, they're not wanting to see this. They're not wanting to deal with it. Um, the two of swords is um, not looking at things clearly. Um, it's also guarded energy. Um, they're guarding themselves. They don't want to see what's really in front of them. They're not making any steps to fix why they feel the heavy burden or why they feel the sadness about you leaving. Okay. They're not willing to change. Um, they're just going to sit there with a the blindfold on and pretend like there's no problem whatsoever. No problems. They feel a sense of sadness and loss with the five of cups. Okay. You leaving. Um, they're very hurt by this. They do care for you. Possibly they have a hard time showing that. And then they do go into a, a period of healing, temperance. Okay. So time to heal. So they will be okay. Um, it seems like this has been a very hard decision for you. New beginnings are everywhere. Um, having to leave someone that you've been with or that you've cared about um, for a long time, or even if it's, you know, um, someone that you've just met and you just have things that are on your horizon that you need to meet, dreams and desires that you want to pursue. And there's a lot holding you back in this partnership. Okay. Okay. Ten of Swords for the final results for Aries. Thank you. Okay. Ten of Swords final results for Aries. Why is Ten of Swords here? For Aries. I think we know you've been through a lot. Um, you've endured a lot of pain. Final results for Aries. Transformation. Okay, you're going to feel uh, better. You're going to transform that energy. You're going to shed your skin. Um, you're going to renew. This is rebirth. Okay, transformation. So you do speak to your partner what you don't see coming is um i just had a whole bunch of cards fall on the ground um what you don't see coming is the conversation that you have with your person speaking your truth and at the bottom of the deck we do have again fast action communication this is eight of wands so you will be making your decisions you will be um changing your direction in life it seems like you might be leaving someone that you've loved for a long time and they have a lot of heavy strong feelings towards you um so anything else for aries this is from the egyptian tarot i use the wild unknown tarot as well as um the rider weight all right uh, so a lot of Gemini, Aries, I mean, Gemini, Libra, and um, Aquarius, a lot of swords, a lot of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay. any other messages for Aries? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you are like with the Page of Pentacles, that is what's in your surrounding, your environment, a new offer. You are moving towards a new collaboration, a team. Um, this is having to do with job uh, promotion, possibly a new team of some of some kind um, collaborating. Okay, so you're moving towards work goals um something that you're very passionate about okay and you're having to leave um and that is um prompting you the ace of pentacles is prompting you to think about your desires and yes it will be successful with the three of pentacles that is your extra message because my other oracle fell on the floor so i couldn't read from that all right i hope that helps it looks like you're very um happy eager passionate 
um, about this new beginning. Okay, maybe you've been held back um, too long and you are making changes and you are transforming, okay, from the pain, from the hurt, from the conflict with the Seven of Swords. I hope that helps. Aries, I wish you the best of luck on your journey. Um, happy Easter. Please hit like, share, subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. When you subscribe, you will be entered into the monthly draw for a free half an hour reading from me, T. Sterl. All right. Uh, I think that's everything. Have a very good month ahead and enjoy and I'll take care and I will see you next time.